Hi guys, how are you mind this one? Titanium, welcome back. Let's do another fake uh, MMT video. And this one, uh, we're going to talk about uh, uh, where does the dollar in your pocket come from? Huh? Where did it come from? As if the act of printing creates value for a currency. Well, by that logic, uh, Bitcoin creates value for the for, by printing it or whatever, creating it, keystroking it. That's not value. <laughs> How can in the 21st century with all this higher education, educated people, economics, all this stuff, people cannot understand the most simplest, basic, fundamental aspect of economics. Production is first and foremost. It's the same argument with gold bugs. They don't understand what value is. They don't understand that value is production. They don't get it. So if I go out and unearth, I don't know, a ton of gold, then, you know, I created value. I mean, where do people come up with these things? I, 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 don't, I don't get it. So, you know, when they ask you, um, you know, where, uh, where did, the, did you get that currency in your pocket? I'm using currency you know, because I don't know where you live, you know, ask them what values that currency. It's not, it's not who prints it. It's who values it. Right. And the only person that can value it is you and everybody else within your economy that goes out, busts their ass, blood, sweat, and tear, innovates, risk takes, and then creates the value. So the question is not where did the dollar come from? The question is where did the value come from to value the dollar okay that's the question and uh you know fake mmtiers they they don't understand anything that has to do with production and and, and risk taking blood sweat and tears hard work they don't these things are foreign to them they have no idea what that means it's not about how many sky miles an airline can create they can create infinite amount it's about how many sky miles you fly that you're going to earn sky fly <laughs> frequent flyer miles, right? You got to pay for it. Well, how are you going to pay for it? Okay. You got to go out and work, earn money, produce something of value that somebody else wants for a profit and then go buy the ticket. And then once you buy the ticket, they'll give you a discount. Oh, I'm sorry. We call it air miles. I mean, come on. So again, it's not where did the dollar come from? Where did the value for the dollar come from? That's the question you got to be asking. And that's the private sector. Again, let's go back. Euro. Did everybody just sit around and said, well, shit, there's no currency. My currency in my country is done. So let's all just wait around till the government spends. OK, so then we can provision it so we can all have jobs or, um, you know, the tax hut is going to give it, um, you know, value. So now we have to go out and get euros so they don't burn down our huts. Like, what is wrong with you people that that sit here and you? You take these stupid analogies and you think you are talking economics. You're, seriously, there's some kind of a defect going on here in people's minds. It's just They're just so uneducated. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Think about it. If the act of printing created value for a currency, then Venezuela is the fucking richest country in the world. Period. They're the richest. Think about it. Does that make sense to you in any way, shape, or form? But this is what, you know, this is what's going around social media. And people are actually sitting here like, oh, let's debate this. No, there's nothing to debate. You're an idiot. You, can, <laughs> you cannot print value for a currency. I am sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is. And since you cannot print value for a currency, then you can only destroy or liquidate the value that already exists within your economy, the wealth. So, for example, you look at Turkey, okay? They're printing, printing, printing. What are they doing? They're diluting their debt to GDP, and they are liquidating the national wealth. Here is the Turkish lira against the dollar, okay? Look at that. Look at that devaluation. And this is only since, what, 2013. It goes way higher than that, way before then, okay? So what are they doing now? Now they're saying, well, we're going to print money and go out, and we're going to borrow dollars and euros and whatever to have foreign currency reserves. Well, 
that's not going to help you because every time you print money, you're devaluing the currency. So you can go out and try to buy euros and dollars and whatever, and all you're going to do is create another problem. And that problem is like a dog chasing its, its tail, that you're always going to need to print more and more and more because your value of the currency will keep depreciating, 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 and you can never acquire the reserves that you require to back up your currency. So your currency will never strengthen. It doesn't work any other way. I'm sorry. <laughs> How can I explain that to you? That's why I've been telling my subscribers that the Turkish Lira is going to go much higher. It's going to lose value. Okay? And that's why I went out and bought it. And I'm up twelve and a half thousand dollars. And I bought it when it was three. Okay, this is the second time I bought it. Because I understand how the currency works. Okay, so when you're when you're sitting here telling me, Oh, good luck with your with your trading. <laughs> yeah. I don't need luck. <laughs> I understand the way the monetary system works. Okay? That's the way it works. When you print, borrow, and then import, your currency is going to devalue. You're going to drain your foreign reserves. And as a result, your currency is going to devalue. You're going to have high inflation. You're going to have to raise interest rates. It's what's called crowding out. Okay? You're crowding out private investment something that MMTers deny. Well, you can't deny it because that's happening right now in Turkey. So then the next argument comes, well, they, they borrowed in a foreign currency. No, the, the, <laughs> the foreign currency that they borrowed from is because they cannot print value for their currency. They trashed their currency. So what they had to do was to go out and start borrowing in, in a foreign currency in order to maintain value. And then when those reserves finish, then the currency collapses, okay? So when you have people telling you, well, you know, no currency can ever run out of its own currency, uh, uh, can ever go bankrupt and can ever run out of its own currency. That's correct. That's true. But it can run out of value. And that's what I'm telling you. You can't print value for a currency. I don't care how much you think it, it, it makes sense to you. It, you can't do it. And if you can't print value for a currency, you can't pay for it, okay? You cannot pay for it. So you can't have all these little nice little freebies. That's a pipe dream. It doesn't work that way. So am I telling you that if we started printing, I don't know, $4 trillion tomorrow, every year, $4 trillion, $4 trillion, that we're going to hyperinflate tomorrow? No, of course not. You have to exhaust the national wealth before you start hyperinflating which is exactly what's happening in Turkey and Venezuela and all these other places. They're exhausting their debt to GDP, keeps rising. What's happening? The value is collapsing, okay? And eventually in the U.S., I'll take you back to the U.S. Here's the U.S. What happened during the financial crisis? Where did the dollar index go when we had de uh, deficits 10% to GDP? The value went to 72, okay? Because the production was not keeping up with the amount of money that was being printed or keystroked or whatever you want to call it. Okay? And when that happens, the value collapses. Even if you're a world reserve currency. Even with a shitload of foreign reserves. Okay? Even if your national wealth is $150 trillion. It still devalues. Because the government cannot print value for the currency. I will keep telling you that until it gets through your thick head. You want to know what happened to the Indonesian rupee in, in the uh, Asia, Asian uh, financial crisis? It went from what, uh, let's see here, 2,601 2, Indonesian rupees to the $1 to 14,275,000. Thousand to one dollar okay if you, if you don't understand math facts and data then i can't help you Did these people print value for the currency of course not of course not they cannot the government cannot do it it's only the private sector that can create value and that's through production hard work blood sweat and tears risk taking and innovation so next time one of these morons ask you well where did the dollar come from in your pocket ask him where the value came for the dollar in my pocket all right, take care. Bye-bye.